Yes. Now we'll discuss about the inlet of thorax. This is upper narrow part of thorax, which is continuous with the neck. If you see here, this is this is neck, and here is thorax. This portion of the diaphragm. This is abdomen. So this is thorax. This is abdomen. This part is neck. So this portion is this is inlet of thorax. Here one fascia is present. Which form a membrane. This is this fascia is known as Simpson's fascia. This is known as Simpson's fascia. Simpson's fascia are suprapleural membrane. So we'll discuss about the this inlet of thorax. Here, make a diagram. Here is position of this is sternum, manubrium sterni. Here is position of. T1 vertebra, this is T1 vertebra and here is C7 vertebra, this is C7 and this is T1 vertebra this is T1 vertebra and here is position of this is first rib and this is costal cartilage, the first thing. So this is first thing. This Simpson fascia, which passing covers this opening, this inlet. This is a triangular fascia. Here is transverse passage of C7. It attaches the transverse passage of C7 and margin of the first rib and costal cartilage. So this fascia is Simpson's fascia or suprapleural membrane. This is suprapleural membrane or Simpson's fascia. If you see here, we took at a section at this level. Here will be position of the fascia. This is fascia, and here is attached with the transverse process of the C shape. This is transverse process of the C shape and inferiorly attached with the rib. So here is position of the first rib. This is first thing. If you cut section like this, here is transverse passage of C7 and this is rib, medial margin of the rib. First thing. And deep to this, there is a pleura. So, lung and pleura, apex of the lung and pleura lies here. So, apex lies here. And here the structures lies here is subclavian artery, subclavian vein, here is subclavian vein. So this fascia 
covers these structures. And the important thing, uh, which structure form the boundary of this inlet of thorax. You can see in this diagram, the structures forming boundary. If you see the shape of this, this its shape, if you see, it is like this. So its shape is like kidney shape. It's something like this. So this is horizontal dimension. Horizontal dimension is about 10 to 12 centimeter, 12.5 centimeter. And anterior posterior is about 5 centimeter. If you see under diagram, here is position of the manubrium stadi. If you cut in median section, sciatic section, here is portion of this is T1 vertebra, here is T2 vertebra, and here lies T3. And here is T4 vertebra. Here is the intervertebral disc, intervertebral disc, intervertebral disc. This is plane of inlet. It makes an angle about 45 degree with horizontal. Direction of the plane of inlet is directed downward and make an angle about 45 degree with horizontal. So boundary of this anterior is bounded by superior margin of manubrium sternal. This is manubrium sternal, this is anterior boundary. Posteriorly, it is superior margin of T1 vertebra, superior margin of the T1 vertebra. This is T1 vertebra, this is T1 vertebra. And then on each side, on each side is bounded by first rib and costal cartilage. So this is boundary. Anterior boundary, posterior boundary, and on each side. So anteriorly superior margin of manubrium sternal, posteriorly superior margin of T1 vertebra, and on each side first rib. Medial margin of the first rib and its costal cartilage. So this is boundary of this.